Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, John, for, I, I really don't know whether I deserve that sort of uh, praise and commitment, but I'll try to do my best. Uh, respected Chair, uh, Madam Senator, uh, Honorable Member of Parliament from India, Indonesia, and uh, Mr. Stephen Krauss. Uh, good afternoon, uh, my friends in the audience. Uh, I'm here to speak uh, about Nepal and its uh, commitment to AIDS and HIV-related uh, issues. The Nepal government is quite committed to the uh, AIDS and HIV issue uh, issues, and in fact, it has uh, even got a uh, Nepal HIV investment plan, and it has formed an investment plan, and it, it also has a message. The message reads, Vision is looking beyond the obvious. Success is doing something about it. So this is how we started. Uh, in order to better respond to the HIV epidemic in the country, the government has put forth the Nepal HIV Investment Plan. This plan has come together after months of hard work by a team of dedicated government, community, and external development partners rather than academic and scientific exercises. The Nepal HIV Investment Plan is founded on the principle of UNAIDS investment framework and of National Strategic Plan of the Third Generation. NHIP will drive the National HIV Strategy 2011-2016, which will in turn prioritize key actions for Nepal to successfully achieve the getting to zero vision. It spells out the scope, scale, and intensity of innovative initiatives to be implemented with the, with the speed and quality that are urgent, necessary, and non-negotiable. It also sets out the need to operate within, a, within an accountability framework that highlights shared responsibility and national solidarity. Nepal has committed to the targets of the 2000 high level meeting on AIDS and has a, and has a prioritized national strategy. To, strategy one, reduce new HIV infections by 50% by 2016 compared to 2010. Reduce HIV related deaths by 25% by 2016 through universal access to treatment and care services and reduce new HIV infections in children by 90% by 2016. How do we intend to achieve this triple zero vision as committed by us? The zero to uh, new HIV inf infections, I think the Nepal government is on track. Uh, as mentioned, we have a a uh, plan to reduce this by 25% infection in comparison to 2010. Zero AIDS related deaths. We are on track, but still needs, we still need to work on the accessibility to the grassroots level. Because as you all may know, that Nepal is a very remote and mountainous country due to geographical reasons. We are not able to access to majority of the people. And, um, However, we do have a vision to address this. We have a vision, and that way is to provide a doctor for each village development committee with health worker, working team. Uh, we also have art therapy up to the PHC primary healthcare level. Uh, once again, our main uh, challenges uh, you know, the access to remote areas. Um, the government has been quite successful in addressing AIDS to the key um, affected people, but then we have a time bomb that is um, ticking in Nepal. And that is, you know, our main source of income is uh, migrant workers. And due to, uh, we have uh, workers going to Malaysia, we have workers going to the Middle East, 
We have workers going to India. Now, the workers going to the Middle East and Malaysia, we have proper health care checkups for them, but for the people going to India, we do not have any sort of health care, and it's not uh, monitored since we have an open border with India. And majority of the migrant laborers go to India, and uh, they go for long periods, maybe two, three years, minimum uh, two, three years period, and obviously they might engage, into, engage in sexual activities, and when they come back, this, you know, they in turn spread uh, AIDS, uh, HIV-related uh, diseases in, in, to Nepal, to rural Nepal. We have been able to target to the uh, cities, but access in remote areas, this is what we are scared of. We have data related, uh, related to the city, key affected people, but the data related to rural areas, we, are, we need to um, shape up in that. So uh, our main thing, we are, although we have been successful in addressing issues in, uh, the, the, due to lack of um, data in rural areas, this could be a major problem or setback for Nepal and its fight against aid. Uh, the three, uh, the triple zero action in, the, in, in regards to zero discrimination, in order to tackle and address this issue, I think Nepal has taken some very progressive and stern steps. We are, uh, we are I'm, uh, I could easily say that we are leading in this front. Uh, however, we do have our problems. In order to address the LGBTI rights, the Supreme Court of Nepal handed a landmark verdict, verdict to give equal rights for LGBTI people of Nepal in 2007. It ordered the Nepal government to give citizenship certificate for third gen gender of Nepal as per their gender identity. Nepal government also has started to allocate national budget to the cause and issues of LGBTI and transgender. Nepal HIV investment plan has addressed MSM and transgender people. The national youth policy also addresses and assures the third gender and transgender people. Passport department is planning to issue passports for TG as per their gender identity. Our immigration forms while leaving and entering Nepal already has a provision for the third gender. So in regards to this, uh, the government and its legis legis legislature, we are quite progressive. However, we still, being a uh, Hindu-dominated country, religion plays a major role. So we still, we do have the stigma and, um, uh, and um, stigma against AIDS. So how do we tackle this? The government, I think, uh, the government intends to tackle this problem with government public partnership programs, interacting with uh, various forums and uh, awareness programs. Uh, NHIP, National HIV Plan, uh, developed in the contest context of the downward trend in global HIV funding, Nepal desperately depends on foreign aid to address the HIV and AIDS-related issues and program. The government spending was 3.5% of to total spending on HIV-related activities. Biggest spending was from bilateral donors and funding mechanisms, which provided 67% of the total HIV funding in Nepal. USAID, uh, they, sh they provided a share of 49%, DFID, 37%, Multinatural and the GFAT prov provided money for 24% of the spending in 2007. International NGOs responsible for 5.6%, while 100% of the total government funding was spent, only 75% of funds from donors were spent. It is clear that Nepal's HIV program depends heavily on foreign aid. Hence, we need to lobby and create an environment for more funding. In conclusion, um, many of you all may know that uh, Nepal is going through a um, political and uh, political change. 
we, from a country of being a constitutional monarch, we have turned into a republic. We are in the process of drafting a new constitution. So during that process, a lot of issues come to us or are raised in the parliament. And the main focus issues are human rights issues. Nepal also, like India and uh, Indonesia, is very diverse. We have many, many um, ethnic groups. Now, each of these groups are demanding their rights and their, uh, their rights to be heard and for their um, uh, place in society. Uh, in regards to this, the women's rights organization, children's rights, uh, AIDS issue, transgender issues, these are all being raised in a very uh, uh, positive manner. And the parliament is very progressive and is listening to this uh, voice. Um, we are on the process of a change and we need to accommodate this change into this new constitution. Uh, we debate uh, about various issues. Um, the basic human rights issues, you know, uh, in Nepal we have, uh, um, you know, the Dalit issues, the women issues. Uh, the Dalit, you know, are called the untouchables. So, you know, they also have a big say. Now, each one of these people want their own uh, forum or commission to be made. The government is nulling on the fact whether we form different issues or one big, one human rights issue, a panel, commission, in which we all accommodate maybe uh, health, uh, human health rights, um, um, women rights, Dalit rights, and the various social injustices that have taken. So we are thinking about this and we have a commitment. The Nepalese government clearly has a strategy and we have also um, the Nepal HIV investment plan. The summary of this, I will photocopy if anybody is, uh, needs, uh, would want to see this. We have a, it's only 14 pages. I would have it photocopied and sent to you. Uh, lastly, I'm a new MP, like uh, John says. I feel committed and I feel privileged to be standing here in front of you all advocating for the, uh, for the cause. I think the cause is very just and humane. Uh, and I feel it, is, it as my responsibility and my obligation to mankind. And I hope I will be able to do justice while I'm here. Um, um, in, in saying this, I would like to conclude my uh, speech to you. And uh, of course, I'm ready for any questions that uh, you threw at me. Thank you very much and have a good day. Excellent.